Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play War 40k Inquisitor Matra, sorry I was just thinking in the moment and we go on with the next episode retaking the command center. The situation on Nereus 3 is worse than I had expected. The traitors of the Alpha Legion decimated the Imperial defenders at the capital. It will be a real challenge to track down an Inquisitor under these circumstances. The Imperial Command Center is the last known location of Inquisitor Draken. I will try to fight my way through the occupied area. I have arrived too late. The enemy has already captured the command center. I'd strongly suggest you find the communications room. There must be some evidence of what happened to the defenders. I'm on my way. We will do nice that he actually is suggesting things. I like that, so he's actually thinking too. So that means we are on our way to the communication center. Let's see if we find. Okay, I will focus on the reborn war master since as I always say don't want to have his buff kicking in with the health regeneration especially if it is going to his minions that always is not the greatest feeling if everyone is really heavily regenerating regenerating at just um, at such a rate that you can't really out damage the regeneration at least with the loadout loadout I have had with most of my inquisitors so far so that is actually always then normally as you if you've seen a couple of my episodes actually I tend to go for the surroundings since even though as I always like to say the small enemies don't do much damage they don't um, but if they are many of them even a little bit of damage is actually um, clump so say clumping up um, the numbers are going high and you are very very heavily damaged very very fastly okay th there we are quicker than I thought I'm going to take the second in the Okay, I didn't even, sometimes, fun fact, this is just happening without me noticing, taking um, those in the It's very, very weird feeling, to be honest. 1800 damage, I like that, that is a lot. None crit damage is um, probably the thing to say there, but I can't believe that is then going to be already the end of this mission that would be a little bit too fast actually I'm at the communication center I'll check the logs for the last few Vox messages the situation is very grave the traitor Marines have destroyed the defenses I even found a knight on the list of casualties those mongrels have destroyed a combat walker curses be upon them the traitors took prisoners I'm going to rescue them there is still hope that someone has information about Draken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, three prisoners they have taken, or three... We don't know whether they have only taken three prisoners, right? So we need to actually go after a couple of them. And um, we need to go after three, but obviously it could be way more. But that is what I wanted to articulate there. Okay, oh goodness, there are a lot of enemies around indeed and the recharged HP I could have used I could have um, needed before sadly enough okay where is this a dead end or is it a door okay it is a dead end which I should have seen on the radar shame on me here Okay, it should be just his turrets, right? So if I kill him, they... Okay. Too bad. Because this guy is actually is able to summon those guys too. With those guys, I obviously am talking about the turrets. And I see... 
It is not happening often, but sometimes I do see them. And this is weird. Um, this is the third reborn raw master. This is always a little bit weird if there are actually so many of them. But on the other hand, that means we are gaining more HP and more items, which increases obviously the chat. Okay, that's a weird combination here. Then focusing on this one, come on. Okay, good, good, good. Three of them we have taken down. I like that and I'm confused. I always thought they changed it up that we only can have one tarantula drop pod coming down, but obviously we can't have a couple of them. I'm actually gonna check the description there in a second. I'm really, really curious about that. So, what? is confusing me too is that we actually against the three of the reborn war masters i did need to, not need to uh, use any inoculator confusing but i'm not complaining i like it all right they are gone us i'll Take the... is it the damage increase? Yes, increase your damage by 50%. I like that. And we need that or take use that to actually take down the Chaos Spawn. The giant Chaos Spawn. And all its surroundings. Although, as you probably know, it can... As if I'm not messing up, it can... Well, not messing up in talking. It is able to re spawn or to spawn new guys okay it slowly regenerates come on respawn me respawn me let's get into action again shielding is on so our death was then in the end not in vain with the um, giant chaos spawn taken out okay all of them down then to the first prisoner we go stun nearby enemies okay that i should have used before Shame on me. And reborn Warlock still alive. Those slithering traitors spare and brain. Praise the Emperor! You have saved us all from a terrible fate, Inquisitor. I'm only doing the Emperor's work. I must find Inquisitor Draken. Is he here? Inquisitor Draken had to make a decision, and he made it with a very heavy heart. When he realized that the city could not be saved, but the rest of our world still has a fighting chance. He has returned to his fortress. He is keeping the main chaos forces occupied until reinforcements arrive. Mm hmm. We have a new clue. Well, that is fair enough. Is he actually going to support us? Or is he just going to chillax there? Okay, he's just going to stay, sadly enough. Would it be nice if he would have joined us? I mean. In the end we have freed him, but on the other hand, of course, if you have been captured and hold hostage, I guess you don't want to um, take the chance of dying, I guess. Even though he's a soldier, I mean, that is his holy duty to terror, actually. Ambrose Caradoc, the pilot of the Crimson Wanderer, at your service. Well met, sir. You are a free blade, aren't you? A lonesome warrior reporting for duty, Sir Caradoc, roaming the sector, fighting our enemies, and aiding the helpless. Did the traitorous scum really destroy your knight? They had something more obscene in mind. But that would have taken longer, and I know in my heart that the Crimson Wanderer is still waiting for me in the hangar. Alright, so, um, this then ain't no spoiler anymore. We, I think I said it in the last episode with the Bane Plate, right? Or with the Shadow Sword. I always, I know Bane Plate's 100%, but I always got the other variants of Bane Plates. What I wanted to say here, little maybe spoiler alert, but we, I said it already in the last episode, we have at least one episode coming up where we are going to use a knight, a Imperial Knight. And I am, this is. Like with the um, Shadow Sword there, my favorite kind of mission type in this wonderful game.
So why ever this one guardsman actually followed us and the other one not, I don't know, but I of course accept the help. Would be, I mean, we can't even not accept the help, but. Okay, we need to talk to the knight again. This is sometimes, and if you go from a game design, mission design, something I do not like if they send you from A to B and you need, or A, B, C, and need to get to C or to A, to be precise, back. If that made any sense at all. I must reach Draken's fortress immediately. You need to cross the city to get there, and it has become a ruined battlefield, crawling with armies of monstrosities. But don't lose heart, Inquisitor. The true gifts of the Emperor come at the most unexpected moments. What do you have in mind, Sir Caradoc? This is a quest worthy of the Crimson Wanderer. I will take it upon myself to fight my way through the battlefield and clear your way to the fortress. Alright, and that, guys, brings us right now to the end of this episode. We will go on here with the Crimson Wanderer in the next episode then for now you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode where we will follow the trail of flavius one draken until then have a nice day stay frosty bye